Hi, I'm Dr. Horsch. This video is part of our series on breed-specific and inherited diseases. Intervertebral disc disease, or IBDD, is the medical term for dogs with slip discs. It's common in dogs with long backs and short legs. Back pain from slip discs is common in humans and it happens in dogs as well, especially in dachshunds like my dog, Jeannie. 75% of emergency back surgeries are done in dachshunds, but many other breeds can have IVDD as well. Intervertebral discs are jelly-like little cushions between each vertebrae all along the spine. When a disc slips or ruptures, the disc material presses on the spinal cord, causing pain and sometimes paralysis. So this is a picture of a normal vertebrae, and here is what healthy spinal cord looks like. This is a disc that has slipped out of place, and you can see it's popping up and it's impinging on the nerve fibers and compressing them. Dogs with long backs and short legs usually are affected in their lumbar spine, between the ribs and the tail. Only the hind legs experience pain and paralysis in this case. Other breeds of dogs will slip discs in their neck, in which case all four legs will be affected. Some breeds also have a tendency for the discs to calcify, becoming hard and brittle. You can see that here, this disc has become hard and calcified, whereas normally they don't show up at all on an x-ray. Hardened discs are more likely to cause problems even if the dog has a short back. Beagles, for example, are not nearly as long and low as a dachshund, Lhasa Apso, or Basset Hound, but they are still a common breed for slip discs because of the disc calcifying. Poodles commonly get IVDD in the neck and German Shepherds at the lumbosacral area where the lumbar spine meets the part of the spine that goes through the pelvis. When the spinal cord is interrupted, you can see it's a nice tube and then all of a sudden it takes a jump up. So right there we have a problem with the spinal cord. Symptoms of IVDD will vary based on the severity and the location of the discs that have slipped. If you notice your dog is all of a sudden unable to walk go upstairs, or if they don't want to posture to go to the bathroom, they may have slipped a disc. As with people, back pain can be very severe, leaving some dogs screaming in pain. They may cry when they're picked up, or if they have neck pain, they will cry if they try to turn or lower their head. They may drag their back feet or be suddenly paralyzed and unable to get up or use the back legs. If the disc has slipped in their neck, all four legs may be affected. If your dog is paralyzed, surgery may be needed to correct the problem. Surgery should be done within 24 hours and ideally within 12 hours if we wish to correct the problem. A myelogram, a CT, or an MRI will be done to see which discs have slipped out of place and then surgery will be performed to remove those discs. This is a very expensive set of tests and surgery, so we strongly recommend pet health insurance, especially for dachshunds. In milder cases where the disc is swollen or not protruding out of place very far, rest and medication may resolve the problem. If a dog is painful or weak in the back legs but can still walk, he or she can be treated medically and with time and some rehabilitation will improve. We can get an idea of how damaged the spinal cord is by checking reflexes to the feet. The outside layer of the spinal cord, right next to the intervertebral discs, carries signals from the feet and legs up to the brain to tell the brain where the feet are. If the outer nerve fibers are damaged, the pet can't feel that you've turned her foot upside down and will just leave it there instead of flipping it back. Because basically the spinal cord relays messages from the foot all the way up to the brain and then back from the brain down to the foot. So if these spinal cord fibers are damaged, she'll just leave her foot like that and she won't flip it back over normally. Because this disease is so painful, never wait. Always have your dog examined immediately if he or she is showing any symptoms. If she seems weak, uncoordinated, or unable to walk in her back end, she should be seen. If it's on a night or a weekend, please go to the emergency hospital. Pain medication will be given as soon as possible. And then if surgery is not needed, we will prescribe a program for rest medication, and rehabilitation. Ramps or steps should be used from puppyhood on so that susceptible dogs don't spend a lifetime stressing their backs, jumping up and down off the furniture. As with so many other diseases, weight control is essential for preventing intervertebral disc disease. 